And now your first alert forecast with meteorologist Kyle Keel. It's 614 on your Wednesday morning, waking up to very similar conditions that we've woken up to here over the past several mornings. Everywhere camera network shows a uh, pretty calm conditions. Not much wind out there either. Any wind that we do have today will be out of the west and southwest, which means these temperatures are going to warm up very quickly with that dry air in place. It's 49 degrees right now in Davenport and Galena. That's where we've kind of seen that wind switch a little bit. 45 in Moline Clinton, 46 degrees in Kiwani, 42, one of the cooler spots this morning in in Galesburg. There we go. Not a lot to show you here on satellite and radar. We've got maybe just a few light rain showers associated with some clouds. Weak disturbance there in South Dakota and Nebraska. Otherwise, we have nothing to talk about here in the mid to upper Midwest. All eyes, of course, in Florida as those areas or those people are bracing for the impact of Hurricane Milton with landfall later tonight. Here at home, temperatures in the mid 70s north, low 80s here farther to the south. A very comfortable day feeling more like late summer than early fall. That's for sure. Tonight, seasonable temperatures mid 40s here for your overnight lows as we continue with that southerly component to the wind, and that means temperatures will be on a warming trend tomorrow and Friday. Tomorrow's high is going to be in the upper 70s to low 80s, so maybe just a degree or two warmer than today, although I don't really think you're going to feel much difference between today and tomorrow. Let's talk about Milton. Uh, we're talking many records that have been broken just associated with Hurricane Milton alone. It's the strongest hurricane ever uh, this late in the season in the Atlantic Basin. The second fastest 48 hour pressure fall. Again, the lower the pressure, the stronger the storm. It's the third fastest 24 hour wind increase. The third hurricane to be a category five twice in its lifetime. It's a category five right now after being upgraded yesterday. It was also a category five on Monday and speaking of we went from a category one to a category five in just 10 hours. That was that rapid intensification that happened on Monday. And still it is a category five hurricane here as it's now a little under 300 miles to the southwest of Tampa, Florida. It's got winds of 160 miles per hour, maybe going undergoing a little bit of wind shear. So it's, it might weaken the storm just a bit, but still it's forecast to be a very powerful category three or category four hurricane as it makes landfall here, maybe just after midnight tonight uh, between Tampa Bay and Fort Myers. So it's this area right here where we could see that landfall and that's going to be critical to who has the highest storm surge, which could be 10 to 15 feet. Even some storm surge on the east side of Florida here as uh, it remains hurricane status here throughout the Florida Peninsula. Eventually it kicks it off to the east into the Atlantic Ocean and that will get our weather pattern moving here locally. That's after near record highs on Friday, 87 degrees project bundle up. We won't be bundled up collecting your donations, but we certainly want all your winter hats, coats and gloves to be donated to kids in need. Cold front moves through late Saturday. That gives us cooler weather Sunday into early next week. Could be talking frost here as early as Tuesday. Thanks, Kyle.